What is up guys, Neil here, back with an Android game review. So for today's game, I wanted to review a game that was recently released for Android, but it's been around since I believe around 2015 to 2016, and it's a game called Life is Strange. So what's intriguing about this game, as I learned when I started playing and I was reading up on it, is that um, the game itself... Um, progresses based on your interactions and actions with the characters and your environment around you. So the game is most notable for that along with some really really good graphics as you can see here. Um, you do need a higher end newer model device so um, a device that supports OpenGL 3.1 which is not too much of no for me just you need a good visual processor on your device and then at least two gigabytes of RAM so luckily my OnePlus 3T is on the list of supported devices so it runs pretty smoothly as is but you will need a relatively new and higher power device to play it. Um, from here the options are pretty straightforward so going into it you can um, save your game so you get a couple of, or three slots here you can adjust your um, sound settings to, uh, depending on how loud or quiet you want it so um, the sound is actually very good very immersive you are playing from the third person third person point of view of the main character who's a high school um, senior um, you can also adjust the system language as well as subtitles so if you want to turn it on or off you can do that as well um, from here you can also adjust your um, settings so if you want to um, have on-screen controls or point to move you can do that as well so I have it set to point to move in order to control um, my character's movement um, that's the bulk of that um, you do get one episode for free but there are um, five episodes in total so if you want to get the full um, series it's $8.99 it's $99 or a couple of or 99 cents for the next episode and 499 after that so it does been or it's more beneficial to buy the rest of the episodes in bulk um so getting and then you can also if you have a square enix account or enix account you can tie it to there for i guess i'm not sure if it's cross-platform cross linking support or anything like that but you can get i guess exclusive content and other stuff like that um, going into the game is actually very straightforward. The idea is that there's a thunderstorm that affects this girl's uh, city. So as she initially she um, assumes it's a dream but felt, feels that it's too real to be a dream. But learns very quickly that she actually has the ability to rewind time and adjust her actions accordingly so that she can um, alter future events or events that she's had a chance to see that have occurred and adjust their outcome. So I've played a little bit in the beginning. So she's in her photography class because she is a photography C or she's into photography and probably wants to go down that route, but isn't sure of herself. And um, she learns that she's kind of with it, thinking within herself that uh, what she's going to do, what's of interest to her. She finds out that a co-worker or a, a uh, fellow student of hers gets uh, killed or uh, dies in by gunshot due to a misunderstanding with another um, student because over a drug related issue. So now she wants to uh, try and save that classmate. She also, but the idea is that she's stuck in her class, so she has to get out of that class as quickly as possible. The only thing that I have, or the only issue that I have so far, as you can see with the game, is that the initial load time is a little bit longer. So, um, if you want to jump into the game, it does take a little bit of time. But because there's a lot of resources, I imagine that is the main cause of that. But the game is very graphically pleasing to the eye. So, uh, for me, I like the pan and uh, zoom interface of it. Um, I like the the subtitles are very are so far they're actually pretty on par with uh, what um, the dialogue is being spoken and then you can pan around you get various cutscenes for um, other um, NPC characters for what their our reactions are and what is going on so uh, definitely a very immersive game so I do recommend playing it with the volume up or headphones on. Um, but from there, that's really about it. Once you get the basics of the um, controls, you, you do have the ability to rewind time and adjust your actions. So you'll 
um, get a sort of course of events you can rewind as far back as you think you may need and then resume from there and try to adjust those actions but the gameplay will also from my understanding of it update according to um, your interactions so you have to kind of figure out uh, where you want to um, go from here so the idea right now is that I need to try and save um, my uh, classmate so um, you can also interact with various parts of the environment so um, you can for example you'll see that you can um, um, touch and look at various things so she's obviously she's getting stalked by their teacher who wants to talk to her about her um, photography project um, so basically you want to you have to try to get that um, finish the resolution to the story as quickly as possible so um, I'm going to go with that option see what there is um, so you gotta, gotta kind of get that interaction as well so um, you kind of figure how to get in and out of scenarios as quickly as possible to uh, do what you want to do so now that this conversation is about done um, so you get that idea that you can rewind and um, and you get a nice rewind feature there so um, the gauge will go down as you rewind and um, that way you have you know exactly how far back you have been able to go and um, stop accordingly um, so the conversation, so I guess the, um, idea is that you, the, I guess the conversation that I, line I went down was incorrect, so, um, the idea is to figure out kind of what the right course of action is, is as well, so, um, since that's done, I'm going to try and resume the scenario, see if I can get out of the classroom and, uh, resume what I want to do. So once she gets to the door, you'll get that option to open the door, and she'll walk into the um, hallway so you can see, um, interact with uh, the environment there. So you kind of get that good uh, depth of feel there, and um, you can stand, you can do the weird things like look at people and do what you need to do. So I'm gonna try and get to the bathroom. Um, and then you can see that if there's anything to interact with, you can also um, interact with posters and um, um, see what's on various posters. So now I'm at the in the bathroom where she was hiding out to get her, where she wanted to get a grip on herself. But since the interaction with her other two classmates regarding the drug deal are haven't happened yet. Um, she's a little bit early, so hopefully we can, we'll see if she can change her um, output from here. So now she's going to stay, uh, or we'll see. So now that we've caught up to where the interaction happened, we'll see kind of what goes on from here. Um, so I guess that students having a crisis of faith is what the... Um, So let's see if I can, so I don't have a hammer, so let's see if I can move that and um, so I guess I was too late, so I'll rewind time a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can go out here. So I, need, I guess I need to rewind a little bit further than that because I guess the shooting has already happened. So...
So um, I guess I need to find a hammer, but I, there's no hammer around. So I'm going to see if there's uh, some other way for me to, um, or I guess if I move the cart, if there's, or I guess I'm not, maybe I'm not going f as far back. Um, Or I need to go even further back than I think I need to go. So let's see if I can. So now that I have the hammer and I get to keep my um, inventory, I will rewind and I'm going to, now that I have the hammer, I'm going to uh, use the hammer to uh, set off the fire alarm so that way um, nothing happens and I can progress with the story. So now that I've saved my classmate, I know kind of what happens and now that the kid figures out that there's a picture there, he's gonna, well, I guess there's not an interaction as well, but, um, that's kind of the gist of the story. You do have the ability, you do have the story going on, so, um, you do need to do things like figure out what's around you, interact with your environment, and, uh, solve the problems in order to get, continue with the story. So, overall, Life is Strange is kind of intriguing. You do have, um, you know, yeah, various story elements going on. So the idea is to solve this problem, and it's not the end of the world if you kind of get stuck. Of course, this is still early on, but the idea is to use the rewind button to adjust your actions in order to solve whatever uh, problems you need to figure out. So that's really it. So the game is available for Android. I believe it's available for iOS as well. Um, and I think it's available on other platforms, notably consoles and things like that. But um, the first chapter on the Android side is free with the, the second chapter not being at 99 cents. And the package of all five chapters at 8.99. So definitely worth checking out. Um, um, so, and of course, you do need a higher end device in order to play it. But as far as um, navigation and playback, it is actually super intriguing and um, definitely worth trying out, especially if you like immersive stories that allow you to interact with your environment. So that's really all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find um, this review and all of the reviews on uh, YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And, of course, the website is patelin01.com if you want to get subscription links for the podcast, support, uh, get more information on supporting the show on Patreon, and um, all of that good stuff. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.